we know that the coronavirus pandemic is having an impact on all kinds of businesses and stocks. Angelique Kemlani, though, has a special guest and the new partnership that guest has to develop an antigen test. Tell us more, Angelique. Thanks. Yes. So 3M has partnered with MIT to create an antigen test. It's still uh, in the concept phase from what I've been told, but they are looking to get some support from NIH, which, as we know, has been really pushing into um, helping all these companies get out ahead with new concepts, new technology. So this new technology is a paper uh, based type test, and it will help to detect fragments of the virus, which will then sort of help with the burden that other uh, tests Testing, uh, are seeing right now. So right now uh, we have John Banowitz, which is CTO of uh, 3M. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, I know that this is a really interesting new technology. I just wanted to know a little bit more about uh, why go ahead with an antigen test. We've heard so much about its uh, inaccuracy levels, um, especially for the negative. So why antigen? Well, we just, uh, we're happy to kind of partner with MIT and bring forward uh, some, hopefully some new concepts and ideas and technologies around the, the testing. Um, we're looking to create that low cost, highly accurate, simple to use test that can be mass produced. So it's accessible to a lot of people. And by doing that, we think that we can address some of the needs in the, in the testing market and really help impact the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the things that I'm curious about is I know that it's supposed to be, a, you know, a, a rapid test, and that's something that's really necessary right now. But when we're looking at what uh, what the potential follow up will have to be, does it really help to ease the burden on sort of these nasal swab type tests? And why not get into that instead? Well, we just think that there's a need for that. You know, the, the holy grail of all of this would be some sort of, you know, very low cost, accessible test. It's very simple to use that would be at the point of care. So whether that's actually, uh, you know, you'd, you'd pick it up at a pharmacy or you, you'd have it at a clinic or doctor, um, either way, but something that would be very quick and rapid and at least give some initial indications around how uh, positive or negative are uh, around COVID-19 testing. And so we, we think that there's a need in the market and really trying to push both our technology as well as the technology from MIT. Hey, John, it's Julie here. Just so just to be clear, we've been getting more and more reports of sort of bottlenecks in the system, right, where people get their test, but then they don't actually get the results for quite some time. So just to be clear, in this case, the results would happen right then. You would get, you know, you would wait, I don't know, some period of time, but you would it would happen on site. Yeah, our design objective would be a very quick a matter of minutes in order to be able to get the test and a, a very quick determination whether or not um, positive or negative. To the to the virus itself, and so that would that would be the goal: rapid, easy, low cost, easy to use, um, and accessible by by many. John, I need to back up a bit. Help us understand. There's a difference between a test for the antigen and a test for the antibody, and and we know that the antibody test is far from 100% accurate. So, what is that difference? And is an antigen test better than an antibody test? Well, I think they both have their pluses and their minuses around it. I think the the antigen test that we're working on, we have found it actually to be a little a little better approach. We actually took both approaches at the start, both an antibody as well as an antigen approach. And we have found at least with our our chemistry, our technology, and our manufacturing capabilities, our uh, the antigen test is a little better. So it's actually probably more a fit about where our chemistry is and our, our manufacturing capability seems to match better with an antigen test than with an antibody test. What about the supply chain? We know that we've seen so much in terms of shortages for those PCR tests um, and antibodies are, are really, antibody tests are really easy to find, but what will you need to create this test and have you looked at where the sourcing needs to come from? Yep, so we've looked at the different sources and, and it's, it's we're in, a, we're in a nice position right now because we can see where those bottlenecks exist in the supply chains today around the testing. And it's particularly around re the reagents and the chemistries. And we can hopefully design and work around those and identify new supply chains or new, new areas that we can go into that are different than the existing um, supply chain constraints that are out there in the markets today. 
We appreciate your being here. John Benevitz, who is the CTO at 3M. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.